Welcome back to Let's Play Faunasphere. Today Let's Play is going to head to the Slick Grass Bog. There are three goals down there and they really aren't too much trouble so we're going to do all of them today. So we'll head to the Meyer Knoll and we have to go through the Silty Delta to get to the Slick Grass Bog. Silly Delta Gate is up here at the top and let's play jumps through. It is kind of a long run to get down there, but we're denned up and we've got our belly full of food, so we should be able to get there pretty quick. We'll head clear over to the left side of the screen and it is way over here. Here are some stores. There's a Bucks and a Lux store. There's also just to the south of here, down toward the bottom a little farther, is the sign store. Oh, you got a glimpse of it there. Where you can get a sign with each of the kinds of fauna on it for a hundred bucks each. This is the Slick Grass Bog. Now the goal station's just up and around the curve. And the first one that we're going to take today is oil up that walrus. Oh, it's Amelia. She says, poor scrutinizer. We don't know how old he is, but he must be getting up there. His coat's getting a little frizzy. And she wants to, us to help keep it waterproof because he likes to go into the cold water. We saw he was doing that to get to the glacier top and work on his ice sculpture for sure. So she wants us to look for slick grass. And then if we find three of them, they can make it into some kind of an oil that will help keep him waterproof. Slick grass is going to be found in the pollution, in the slick grass bog. We won't find it in anything that takes our special abilities or in these root stems. Let's play! Come on! Stick with the program. We've got three goals to do. There's one. Slick grass number one. If there's a lot of people down here, it can be hard to find piles of pollution to shoot. But it's not real busy tonight. There was another one and it blinked so fast you could hardly see it. So you may end up with them and not even realize it. Let's play! Come on, come on. Roots are not on the agenda tonight. Stop it! All right, I know. There we go. You strip the slime off of the slick grass and make some new stuff for the walrus. So we'll look in our goal list and it says that we've collected the slick grass. Now we've got to help the scrutinizer. So we need to go to the frozen world and the fastest way to get there is to jump home, click on our world gate, and go to the frozen village. Where is it? Oh, well, there it is, hiding at the bottom. All right, now the scrutinizer is just off to the right of where we land in the frozen village, and there he is. I think he's kind of cute. says, help the scrutinizer, give him the slick grass. So we'll look under, mm, let's look under miscellaneous. And there it is. It's kind of oily looking. Slick grass slime. We'll put it on him. And Amelia says he looks happier. Next time we come to the bog, we can do this again. And we got some lux out of that deal. Good thing we were charged up. 
So that is a repeatable goal. Anytime we want to, we can head out to the slick grass bog and do that all over again and get him some more oil. But right now there are some other goals down in the slick grass bog that we would like to look at. So let's jump back through the mire knoll and see what we can find. We hit the mire knoll and head straight up to the silly delta again. We know how to get to the slick grass bog. This is about as fast as you can do it unless somebody you know is already there and they say it's okay for you to jump to them. So as tempting as it is for Let's Play to shoot pollution and dig these roots, you know, he was out there playing in the swamp while we weren't watching. Look at him. He cannot leave those roots alone. Whoops, missed your corner, didn't you? You weren't paying attention. And while we were off doing that last goal, all of these came back. It's hard to keep the pollution down. But we got a silly Delta artifact. So it's not so bad. We remember how we used that in the um, World Gate Investigation Goal in the Meyer Knoll. Along with uh, an artifact from the Ruined Gulch and an artifact from the Meyer Knoll. And we got some good lucks out of that deal. Oh, finally, let's play. All right up and around the corner to the goal station and let's see what the next goal is. See that oil up the walrus we can do with that one again. We're going to do called to the stage and it's Esteban. He says Nina has a game of racing to the center stage in the Forest Amphitheater. And he wants to know if we can beat her best time. Well, <laughs> we can help you out, Esteban. We can get there faster than 50 seconds, I'm sure. Why am I so sure? Because originally, you had a lot farther to go and it was really a little more difficult to get there in time. But we know that you need to be charged up and full of energy and food. We are, so we've got that going for us because that makes us run faster. And there's a timer pops up for this goal and it's clicking down. So the fastest way is to jump home jump to the rock garden and we're not very far at all from the forest amphitheater so we'll just zoom over there jump through the gate zoom to the right and just up past these muddy blocks we'll see those gargoyles and there's the gate and even dawdling around we hit it we're in 45 seconds. No, even less than that. Oh, nice. He thinks we're wonderful for doing that. Now she won't bug him anymore. So let's take a good look at this. Because we probably won't ever stop to look at it again. Now, we're going to jump back straight to the slick grass bog because it just takes so much time to run down here after we go home. So back in the silly delta and back to the slick grass bog we'll take space potato save us. And the prospector says it sure took a time but yours truly E.P. Sparrow Bottoms figured something out and he thinks the money man is running out of juice but it runs on potatoes. So he wants us to find some space potatoes 
Esteban calls them bog onans. Owens, ons, uns. Bog o owens. Anyway, that's what the money man must run on, so we're going to eat some food and let's play like Pulley Leaf. So we've got some energy to go dig up some more roots and find the bog on. Or whatever it is. Alright, give me some roots to dig. This is one reason why it's probably not a bad idea just to take all of these goals at the same time. You never know what you'll find when you dig. But, look at that. It's glowing. It's a glowing bog potato. Glowing space potato that landed in the bog. Alright, so we're going to take it to the tribal ruins and use it on the money man. Well, you know the routine. The fastest way is to jump home and use our gate to get to the rock garden. The tribal ruins, they're off to the right. Remember, you can always click on that little map icon at the bottom and pull up the map if you forget which direction you need to go. We'll go to the tribal ruins gate and head off to the right again because if we went to the left we'd fall off a cliff and about where the water starts we'll find the money man we've seen him as we've traveled around before and there he is remember we used some kind of a doohickey on him before get that out of my way so I can see what I'm working with Let's find that space potato. There it is. The bog Owen. We're going to put that on the money man. And it says, yeah, buddy. Them things that look like coins are actually the space potato interface. Or something. And the money man uses the bog Owen power to do something or other with the hole in the lake down there. And that's what it's got to be. Maybe just another mystery, I tells ya. So we got 10,500 lux for that. So, that takes care of another one. Let's play feel so strong he kills a one-eyed trashy with one zap. So that's all for today on Let's Play Faunasphere. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you again next time. You have a good night. Bye-bye.